is that Representative Graves just walked into Speaker McCarthy's office right now. Speaker McCarthy, by all accounts, is not here at the Capitol, but his staff is. So a sign that talks, as Representative Graves puts it, are paused as we go into this weekend and we are very much in crunch time. Elizabeth, what kind of a reaction do you expect from the White House on this? And how is President Biden managing these negotiations while overseas? Well, this definitely goes against what the White House has been saying about the progress of the talks, which they said there have been steady progress over the past 24 hours. We know that the president left that G7 dinner early to get an update on how these negotiations were going. And he also had a separate call late last night, Diane, in which the White House said that there was progress on a lot of key agreements to get to a bipartisan deal on the budget. Though in that same readout, the White House did say that the president emphasized the need to continue protecting essential programs for Americans. This is a nod to one of the really big sticking points over those new work requirements for some federal aid programs. That is something that we understand there has not been an agreement on, at least up until this point. Public White House GOP recommends debt ceiling consultations after short-lived collapse. White House representatives and congressional Republicans restarted dialogues over the national debt ceiling Friday evening, hours after a failure in negotiations sent tremors through the fiscal structure and deepened uncertainties that the United States governing administration would exhaust all its fiscal responsibilities as far as cash to pay all its bills is concerned. With the looming threat of defaulting in just a couple of weeks, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, Republican California, stated to Fox Business Friday evening that he was appealing to mediators to get back to the Capitol on the negotiating table. GOP representatives had snappily strolled out of discussions on Friday sunrise, being peevish concerned that they had ended up with diminutive development in coaxing the White House to endorse momentous reductions to national expenditure, a significant Republican requirement. A White House personnel, who elaborated about secrecy to explain government projection, established that mediators would return to the table for talks. The two sides at a meeting for about 90 minutes before stopping and departing the Capitol but professed they would resume functioning somewhere across the nightfall. The White House and parliamentary Republicans are at loggerheads over numerous matters, but the query of where to pitch expenditure levels for the financial year that starts in October has developed as a main projected fact. McCarthy has compelled for a settlement that would prune $100 billion from agency costs and give and take for Republican backing for raising the debt ceiling. Democrats contend that such extreme cutbacks would damage the economy and reduce a variety of dire facilities for relatives and companies. ...from his team on this, and he's directed them to continue pressing for a bipartisan agreement. Let's bring in ABC's Elizabeth Shelsey at the White House and ABC's Jay O'Brien on Capitol Hill with more on that. Jay, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy says they're making progress, but they aren't there yet. What's the latest on the negotiations? Yeah, we just got breaking news on that exact front, Diane. So there are negotiations ongoing right now today here in the Capitol with proxies for President Biden and proxies for Speaker McCarthy. And the primary Republican proxy in that room is a representative from Louisiana named Garrett Graves. And he just walked out of that room where the negotiations are going on. And he said he told reporters in the hallway there. Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the McCad TV family. Please like and share McCad TV. We love you all. Please support McCad TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.